Good morning. about our school situation and I um, just wanted to share a little bit with y'all um, about what we do and our um, curriculum and just a little bit of detail about that. So um, we use a Becca um, online academy. We um, made the switch from parent-led to online probably three years ago well when Jack when we added him into the school ranks and um, like officially added him to sitting down and doing school and um, it's amazing you know they just for a typical school day they just go down the line um, on their um, dashboard their main page and um, they watch you know that particular video say arithmetic and they watch that arithmetic video there's a speed drill during the um, during the video um, that they do a timed speed drill and then they have um, the instruction they do mini sheets where they get a blank piece of paper out and and do exactly what the kids are doing on the chalkboard um, they have a worksheet that they do out of their textbook um, it, it essentially they recorded their a typical day for the students at this particular school and that's what my students see that's what my kids see so um so without showing y'all like the nitty-gritty um because i'm sure that's copyrighted but um this is the parent parent book <clears throat> for the um video sessions the grade three video manual and um, I'll just go through and highlight um, the written work that John William um, has to do so we've recently moved Mary Helen to her room she um, came to us and expressed um, that she was more distracted downstairs, so she's moved up here. I am not sure about her doing it on the bed, doing school on the bed, but um, it's what we've worked out for now, and it seems to be working. This is now, I think.
let's talk chores. Chores are a big part of our school day. Um, my kids do a lot. Everything from wash the dishes, they do the laundry, um, they sweep, they mop, they vacuum. Um, so we use the um, Dave Ramsey Financial Peace Junior kit and um, my children are learning the process of earning money by their hard work and um, weekly we have a payday and they um, put their money in a um, bank and it's just like this. The system that we do is 10, 15, 75. So 10% um, of their income each week goes into their save, or I'm sorry, into their give, because um, we tithe at church. 15% um, goes into their save, and the rest goes into their spend. And um, their spend um, money right now, they're saving up to go in together on a trampoline. So we'll see how that pans out over the next month. They should be able to purchase that in the next month. I'm so proud of them. Um, but yeah, so let me show you our chore charts. But this is this is the um, Financial Peace University, I'm sorry, the Financial Peace Junior Kit. But we just put on there their um, chores. They, it's up to them, their responsibility to um, come and fill it in for the week. And they're pretty good about completing things on their own. You know, I'll say, have you done morning chores? Or, you know, the, the expectation is this, that before they start school in the morning, they um, know they need to do a round of chores and then um, eat breakfast, get their water bottle together, and then sit down and do school. And then, after lunch, they do another round of chores and then um, finish school for the day, free time, and we'll talk about it. So I just want to say I have an amazing wife. I'm just so thankful for Jennifer and what she means to our family. Um, this last year has been pretty rough on our family as a whole, but Jennifer's really, uh, you know, had a a rough experience with uh, moving back from Abu Dhabi where we truly enjoyed our time there, the people there, the culture, just all the friends that we had made. But the big thing is um, in August, uh, she lost her mom and her mom was one of her biggest cheerleaders, her biggest uh, friend. Um, and since then, you know, she's had to learn to live without, but I will say that my wife has done an amazing job and thankfully uh, for her faith and her uh, relationship with Jesus um, has made this year uh, the best it could be. So I just want to say, you know, send a shout out to her and just tell her how much I love her and thank, you know, her for leading our children in the school system at home. And, all that stuff so she has done an, an amazing job and is a great mother and just can't say enough good thank you making papa's breakfast good time <laughs> so dad lives with us um my mom passed away last august and um we felt it was best, he doesn't necessarily think so all the time, but we felt it was best for him to be with us. So yeah, Dad, how old will you be in November? 80. 80 years old, 80 years young. He gets around on his walker. We're making the best of it, huh? I'm making the best of it. Making the best of it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and bye.